All right. Good morning or good evening, everyone. Hopefully everybody is doing good today. I uh, decided to do a, another live stream. I'm kind of playing around with the uh, idea of doing one a month. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. But uh, I do want to kind of find the right time frame to do it. So I've been just kind of experimenting with days and times uh, till I figure out what uh, works best. And then I'll just kind of have a regular uh, schedule on it. Anyway, I'll, I'll make sure you guys can hear me and see me before we go ahead and get started. And uh, then we'll go ahead and talk about uh, the topic on hand. So I'll just wait for you guys to confirm. It is a rainy day today. Looks good, sounds good. All right. Yeah, all right. So basically, uh, you know, with the, the drama happening here in Dumaguete, I'm not going to dive into that because I really don't know what's going on exactly. And I don't really uh, care to even... Um, jump into that topic if you guys want to chat about it in the uh in the uh chat room that's fine but uh i'm not going to jump into it but basically when i moved out here i kind of had a rare opportunity uh of making a lot of filipino friends because i was working here and really the first friends i had were all filipino which was uh which was kind of nice i got to you know hang out with them and i had to get out of my comfort zone because you know, they wanted to hang out and do things that I had never done before. And I well, wasn't really comfortable, like karaoke, for example. You know, I think my voice is probably one of the worst voices uh, out there. And eventually I got to the point where I didn't really care anymore and they don't seem to care. So, you know, I did it. And, you know, you have a few drinks and have a good time. But you do get to a point. I think most of us expats, a lot of us do like to have the com conversation with other expats you know we have more in common we can have different conversations that sometimes we can't have with uh you know our filipino friends and therefore i think we kind of seek out uh some people that are kind of maybe similar to us and i think a lot of us make a mistake at the very beginning and i think we just think oh uh, like for example i'm american oh here's another american oh you know, and all of a sudden you, you know, you start chatting, but maybe in reality, you really have nothing in common. And if you were back in the U.S., you probably would have nothing to do with this person. But because you're living overseas, all of a sudden you guys have this uh, camaraderie thing going on or you think you're good friends. Uh, but I've discovered over seven years here now that uh, it you still got to be careful with um just because somebody is from your home country does not mean they're your friend. And uh, in fact, I actually, the, I, I have a small group of close friends that I have and they are American. We're all around the same age. We're, we're, we're all ex army. And so we have a pretty good tight bond and uh, kind of a close knit uh, uh, friendship there. Uh, but my other friendships are actually guys from Australia and, uh, uh, Italy and some other countries and uh, but yeah just because they're from the same country as you doesn't automatically mean oh this is going to be a good friend <laughs> because it uh, it doesn't work out that way always we'll, we'll jump more into it here but uh, I'll say hello to a few people here uh, a Joe named Mike have Filipino friends and have expat acquaintances that's the best way to avoid other people's drama. Experts are magnets for drama. Yeah, no kidding. But I, I have to be honest. I don't think most most expats here really just want to live a quiet life. Most of most of us are are really no different than um, the majority of us. They, we just want to come here and live a better life, less expensive. You know, find a good girl, um, enjoy retirement, or enjoy the warm weather. And I, I don't think the most most of us aren't looking for trouble. And it's just unfortunately sprinkled in is you do have the bad ones that you just have to kind of avoid. So, hey, uh, Generic Stacker from Ohio and uh, sounds for me meditation. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Mike. Thanks for 
popping in. I appreciate it. And uh, Asia Unscripted, appreciate that. And uh, okay, thanks, Randy. Good. Turbo Chris, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, JJ. Good morning, Joe, from Bangkok, Thailand. Just landed late last night here in Thailand for a month. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Maya and I were in Bangkok, and um, we've now been to uh, Thailand. We've been to Vietnam, Malaysia. And then, like, like I've said in the previous videos, I'm off to the U.S. in May, at the end of May. And then Maya and I have a big trip to Japan in August. And then things are probably going to quiet down for a little bit. We're just going to kind of, uh, we're going to save up some money probably for a property. And uh, I'm probably going to end up getting a car at some point in the near future. Hey, good morning, Rob. And Brian, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, hey, Giovanni, you know, my singing is is pretty bad. <laughs> hey, Enrique, how are you doing? I appreciate uh, the help with the moderation today. Yep, exactly, Mike. Keep your circle small. And uh, just because they are from your same country, hey, even if they're from the same state or whatever, it doesn't mean they're they're your buddy. Um Exactly. Small, trust the circle, keep everyone else, keep it light. Yep. I've, I've learned my, my lesson. I've had, I've had friends that at the very beginning, I'm really just almost created a friendship just because we were both fellow Americans really had nothing in common with uh, some previous friends. I don't even want to call them friends, but acquaintances that, uh, you know, we hung out and uh, really it was almost like, well, there's nobody else to hang out with, <laughs> but uh yeah. Always watch your back as the old model. Live, live by it and you'll be okay. That's right, Giovanni. I don't want to avoid expats exchange pleasantries and then move on. There you go. Uh, do you think that being in the service is a big factor for your close circle? I, I think so. Like, I seem to have actively searched out other guys who were army vets and we're all around the same age, but uh, but they're gen, you know, they're good guys too. You know, I could trust them. I can tell them anything. Uh, they can tell me anything. We have each other's back, you know. Uh, but I have other friends that really, they weren't military. And I got other friends who, I, I got a couple of really close friends from uh, Australia. I've got some good friends from Italy. Um, others from the U.S. that uh, were not in the military. So, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Brent. Lots of good guys in the Philippines and some not. Choose your friends wisely. Yep, exactly. By the way, thank you for being a YouTube member. I appreciate that. Uh, definitely a lot of videos going, going on. I, I think I noticed maybe six videos already about the little incident that happened here at Ground Zero. There's, uh, there's already uh, memes about the Ground Zero. It says... I saw one that said, um, what was it? Um, uh, Americans must be accompanied by an adult uh, from the staff of Ground Zero in <laughs> Tumagetti. Uh, funny, but also kind of embarrassing, too, you know. Hey, good morning, Randy. Couldn't agree more. Up in Angeles, I hang out with three Air Force retired and a couple of nice Aussie guys. Run into a few rude people to stay away. Yep. I, I generally now I don't go to any place that is frequented by a large amount of expats. I I don't feel comfortable going there anymore. I don't, uh, which, which is sad, but unfortunately I don't. And I know there's a lot of good guys there and stuff too, but I just prefer to go somewhere with Maya where we just have our, you know, do our own thing or with, you know, friends and stuff. But any place that's a large crowded area with lots of other expats i just uh I, it's not really my place to hang out it's not really what i want gotta have your coffee today's flavor uh jamaican me crazy not bad <laughs> uh yeah 
us being ex-military, I understand the brotherhood or bond. We try helping each other rather than hurting each other. Someone in the group always has a good advice. Yeah, I, I think that's a good way of looking at it, too. I don't know, Philip. I, I, I really don't know. I wasn't there. And, um, you know, personally, I certainly want to put out a video uh, telling other people about my fight. <laughs> but, you know, that's up to him. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, you're right, Asia and Script. There's a lot of mental illness in the Philippines. There's a lot of guys, a lot of ex-military guys who uh, have some serious PTSD who really should be getting treatment. Some of them wandering around here, too. And, uh, and you get the other guys who are just raging alcoholics. They probably were in their home country, and they come here, and, you know, yeah, recipes for a disaster. Hey, greetings, Joe, from Tampa. Yeah, I used to I used to live in the Tampa St. Pete Clearwater area. I used to work in Tampa as well. It's actually where I joined the uh, military, St. Petersburg National Guard originally. It's a video of one of the individuals posted about the fight. Yeah, I've I've, I've seen some stuff on it, but um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, when I joined the military, I met uh, some of the closest friends I've ever met in my life. And I've also met some of the biggest pieces of shit that I've ever met in my life, too. <laughs> so just because they're an army vet or military doesn't mean they're, you know, good people. <laughs> army disabled vet here counting the months right now to get home to Philippines. Well, welcome, Giovanni. We share the same name, by the way. Watching from ground zero where it all happens, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. I'm not comfortable at that place anymore. I just don't like it. Just way too many uh, people there now, or like foreigners. So you are right. People are people, regardless of where they're from. A tight circle of friends is the best, but nationality doesn't come into it. Yeah, you're exactly right. And at the very beginning, when I moved here, I thought, oh, a fellow American. Oh, we'll be friends. But that's not the case at all. I, I've actually met, uh, like I said, I've met a lot of my good friends are from Australia. Maya and I have a, a couple of uh, friends from Australia and with their Filipinas. And uh, I've got some fr close friends from Italy and, uh, you know, other places. I got a couple friends from Poland uh, and, uh, you know, and then the rest are Americans, a few Canadians, but yeah, it, uh, it doesn't come into play about where, what country they're from. What is the girl's name in all your thumbnails? Her name is artificial um, AI. It's, it's just not a real girl. It's just AI. Um, because what happened one time is I, even though I used a pay site to get images, stock images, one time I did a video called, I think it was called uh, something like Jealous Filipinas or something. And a girl messaged me and said, hey, that's my photo. I'm married now with kids. Uh, can you not use that photo? And even though it was a copyright free image, stock image that I had, you know, uh, a right to because I paid for the uh, membership to use the, all those images, um, of course, I took it down. It was her, her request that I take it down. And so ever since then, I just I just use the uh, AI images. Uh, that way I don't use somebody's real face, you know. But, yeah, unfortunately, guys, uh, those are not uh, real people. <laughs> so don't fall in love with them. Uh, you can generally tell the vets of prior military and give them the benefit of the doubt. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's True, Jess. Yeah, I guess there is CC footage. Um, you know, I don't. Th I don't think uh, two guys in their upper sixties, one with heart issues and the other with some other kind of issues. I don't think it's a good idea to be fighting anyway. Jeez. Uh, I guess nothing can come to do me if, if nobody. I. I honestly, even if they get an, an attorney, I don't see anything really major happening out of it. Sounds like my military careers. <laughs> hey, Gavin, good morning from Scotland. 
Let's see here real quick. Uh, Brent, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I appreciate that. Have a coffee at me, preferably not at ground zero. Well, I can I can guarantee, uh, unfortunately, guys, if you're coming to Dumaguete and you want to meet up with me, I, I, I don't do meetups at ground zero anymore. <laughs> no, not anymore. Uh, any place really that just has a lot of uh, foreigners, I just I just don't really do that anymore. So, uh, it's unbelievable that you can go to such a beautiful place with so many things to do and screw up and fight. You, you know, uh, in my opinion, I, th I think uh, people don't have enough hobbies sometimes. If you have something going on, some kind of activity, I don't care whether it's snorkeling or uh, you know, going out to the gym or uh, going on hikes or, you know, doing some traveling, uh, gardening, whatever, you know. I mean, if you have something going on, uh, anybody, it's a recipe for disaster to sit around with a bunch of other foreigners all day long. And, uh, you know, they end up gossiping and uh, they get into it. And so, yeah. Uh, Gio, just click on your video, it was the Akamani, then look to the side to see your live streaming now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of back to back. So, oh, Michael, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Michael, by the way, if you guys need health insurance uh, coming out here, uh, Michael is the, the man to contact. Let's see here. Hey, Edwin, how you doing from Kansas City, Missouri? Uh, morning, Dari. And James, how you doing? Watching from Mactan Airport in Cebu, waiting for my and I, wife and I, uh, flight to Manila. Great topic on next pass. So, thank you, James. On the way to Manila. All right. Uh, it's tr truly sad that they act like this in front of the Filipino people and the impression we leave on them and their country because we are guests. Yeah, well... You know, that's part of the thing. If, if you're going to live in a city here in the Philippines and you choose a city that has a lot of foreigners, um, yeah, that tends to happen. Guilt by association type thing. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I, I think so, too. That's why I didn't, I didn't want to do a, a live stream about the instant. I just want to talk about, uh, you know, for the most part, you would do yourself uh, good by just avoiding large amounts of expats. And just create, keep that uh, circle of friends small and uh, find Filipino friends as well. You know, mix it up. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think they moved to Thailand or somewhere else. I'm not sure. Just uh, ended up losing contact, so. Uh, it's a smart move to keep your distance, Geo. Some people feed off the drama. Yeah, exactly. They got too much time in their hands to be productive, not destructive. Yeah, you really need to have some some things going on. So, I'm 38, bringing $600 a month in my hot commodity in the Philippines. Well, uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe your lukewarm commodity. <laughs> In my 65 years, I have learned it takes a stronger man to walk away and not be bothered by what people got. Yeah, I think that probably would have been the smart move. And I, I agree with you, especially in your upper upper 60s, you know. Um, yeah. Hey, greetings from the U.S. Snowman. And how you doing from Jersey? On arrival, I need to speak with the village wise men to identify the village idiots. <laughs> Too many new foreigners and tourists come to the Duma area. Well, Duma has always been kind of a tourist area because there's a lot going on here. You got Valencia, you got the snorkeling and Apple Island and Sikior and Bohol are close by. So it's always been a pretty popular uh, tourist destination. But yeah, it's getting more and more popular. And ever since uh, Forbes magazine actually came out with it being one of the top destinations for retirement, overseas living. And then, of course, you know, vloggers have uh, 
vlogged about it as well. So stick around your Filipina and make her family and friends your family and friends. Yeah. Yeah, and that does mean adapting a bit too. You gotta you gotta adapt to yeah, you know, if you want to hang out, you're gonna have to do some karaoke or something. You gotta get out of your comfort zone sometimes. I imagine it's tougher you being a vlogger and in the spotlight, people either love or hate you, and there are some crazies out there. Yeah, that's why I keep I keep pretty low key. I don't do these meet and greets. Um, nothing against the vloggers that do meet and greets. I, I I think it's great that they they get out and they meet everyone. Uh, I say this all the time. I just prefer to meet somebody one on one. Um, I don't want to walk around shaking hands and posing for photos and kissing babies like I'm uh, some su superstar or politician. I'm just a regular guy, so I, I just rather meet somebody one on one. Uh, ever since he left this apartment complex and moved, never heard from him again. Um, even being when he was living in Palawan, never heard anything. So, no. And uh, my guess is he's probably pretty low key now. Greetings from Queensland, Australia. Hey, good to see you. I have been in Depolog for two years now and love it. Yeah, I, li I like Depolog a lot. I would like actually to, one of these days, Maya and I will take the boat ride over there and uh, and see some of the uh, sites. and Because uh, it's, a, it's a fun fun area. There are a lot of great nature there. Dumaguete is growing, so there will be more coming in. Oh, it's for sure. After living here for two years, I've found picking your expat friends carefully is a must. I never would have thought I would have would meet so many foreigners to try to use you and create drama. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've met foreigners who have uh, tried to scam me. I've had uh, I've had, you know, like I said, you know, um. It doesn't matter what country. There's good and bad in every country. I had a guy from Italy, and uh, he's he was actually here in Dumaguete, but he was trying to. He's trying to. He kept opening restaurants, and they kept closing down. He kept trying to get people to invest money into him, and um, you know. And one time he messaged me. He didn't have food for his wife and kid. He said. Um, you know, and he, he was a fairly young guy. I think he was late 30s, early 40s, and he wanted money. And and so, yeah, I, I just, uh, you know, I, I've had others as well, you know. I do not understand when someone goes to another country, then risk and getting blacklisted to you know, come back for getting into fights. Yeah. I'd, I don't think it's, uh, I, I think as uh, foreigners, it's much better just to walk away. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to take that risk either, Mark. Yes, Gio, most foreigners are in the fourth quarter of their life to get right with God should be the priority in life. Uh, the person doing the punching should have controlled himself better. He put a lot on the line by doing what he did. It could have cost him everything he has in the Philippines. Yeah, well... And I suppose it's not over yet. It's, I, I don't know if anything else will uh, come up. Uh, local authorities usually ignore it if it is between two foreigners. Will I meet up with the regular guy? No. Uh, I don't really like his style of videos. I don't know him. I mean, I've met him one time briefly. And he seemed like an okay guy, but I don't know. He's got some kind of beef with me now. Um, but no, I, I have no plans on, uh, on meeting him. Listen, if any of you get bored after I get there in about four months, I'll be building a house. So if y'all want to help me out, let me know. <laughs> you need some manual labor, do you? Hey, wandering doc. How are you doing? Good to see you. Will I visit Mark in jail? I don't think he'll end up in jail, to be honest. Um. Uh, I don't know if anything will ever come of it. Who knows? Uh, I'm coming to Cebu within 18 days to live near IT Park. I heard that the YouTuber hit someone in a wheelchair. I'm just saying we'll try that. Uh, no, I no, I I think it's being a little exaggerated. I don't, nobody was hit who was in a wheelchair. 
So I've only made friends with wealthy Filipino guys here. I don't click with expats here at all. Seems like they are running away from something. Yeah, well, you just uh, don't know. I'll feed you a pay Fil Filipino pay. <laughs> nice. A couple hundred pesos per day, huh? Uh, is scuba chef girl single still? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Um, honestly, uh, the, the Philippines actually kind of reminds me of being in the army. You, you would join the army, you would go to a duty station and you would make, you know, you'd make friends, but then your time came to an end or the friends that you made their enlistment comes to an end and they're out of the army and you never hear from them again or they go to another duty station and you guys just lose communication because and you have to kind of get to the point where you um you know you make friends but you also have to get used to the fact that okay this guy is probably gonna we're good friends but he's probably off to another duty station or i'm going to another duty station and i probably won't even see him again uh, but sometimes if you're in the same MOS, the same job, then you might see each other down the line at another duty station. I had a, a few good friends that I ended up uh, from Germany. We ended up at uh, in Colorado, Fort Carson together. So you, you never know. <clears throat> they both still frequent ground zero. My guess it's going to end up being monetary compensation for medical damages. I, I would agree with that, Dari. I don't think anything more will come out of it. I think once everybody calms down, uh, live from New York, it's June in the Philippines. <laughs> Give me a shout when you come to Depolo, I'll buy you a coffee. Oh, okay, fantastic, thank you. Um, there's a coffee shop right on the, uh, the boulevard there that's pretty nice. I think that's like one of the only few coffee shops you guys have, I don't, I don't know. It's been a while, it's been a long time since I've been there. I've, I've, I've did about three videos there. Hey, morning, Carl. Good to see you. If the story grows anymore, I might hear that he punched a woman. Wow, that she could. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's more fun in the Philippines. Have you been in Dumaguete in typhoon season? If so, how was that experience? A lot of floods. No, not really. Actually, Dumaguete is pretty safe from the typhoons. Um, actually, Cebu, to be honest, hadn't been hit by a typhoon in years and years and years. And unluckily, I happened to be living in Cebu when that major typhoon hit. Uh, was it Odette? Yeah, Typhoon Odette. And uh, basically caused me to have to move to Davao. And then Davao, I ended up back in Dumaguete. And, uh, and then Maya and I met. So it all worked out uh, good. Because if the typhoon would have never happened, to be honest, I probably would have never never met Maya. I would have went to Davao. I would have stayed in Cebu, I guess. Maybe. I was starting not to, I was really enjoying Mocktown Newtown, but that was during the pandemic when there wasn't a lot of people there. The prices were still low. Occupancy was low. There wasn't a lot of people. I would go to Starbucks in the morning and I would literally would be the only person in Starbucks. Now, last time Maya and I were there, place is crowded. Yeah, long line to get into Starbucks, a wait to find a table at Starbucks. So, yeah. Uh, Jack, I, I actually am just waiting to go back to the States in May, and I will sign up with T-Mobile. So, and I'll, I'll get myself a new phone. If we are close in age, can I expect her to contribute some, or does the guy pay for everything in their culture? No. No, I mean Maya. Maya quite often will stop and buy buy food and groceries and other. Maya treats me out to coffee and lunch, and so yeah, of course. Actually, to be honest, the women, in my opinion, in the Philippines are harder working than the guys often, and uh, are usually sometimes the breadwinners. Or quite often, are the breadwinners. I. You know, I couldn't tell you that, but I doubt it very much. Um, you, you hear a lot of that stuff on on, um, on some of the other channels, but I don't think that'll ever happen. 
my perspective, the guy who got hit had it coming. He posted a video imitating the hitter on Facebook and YouTube. It was bad. Said the guy should die. Made fun of the pregnant wife. Yeah, I, I, and I, I don't really know all the details, so I don't want to make any comments on it. Um, did he deserve to get hit? Maybe, maybe, but I, I still think it'd be better to walk away and just avoid it. Be the better man. Um, I still have the opinion that uh, unless I'm being threatened physically, then I will defend myself or uh, defend my wife or kid or something like that. But uh, otherwise, I, I don't go around punching people for, well, I don't want to say for no reason, but uh, unless I'm provoked. What are the best sites or places to look for places to rent around Cebu or just outside of Cebu? These are hard uh, questions to answer because I don't know what you like. Are you looking for kind of a, a quiet area, the beach area? Do you prefer living in a condo in the city with all the amenities just nearby? Uh, it just depends what, what you want. Uh, thank you. Yeah, Maya and I had a, had a really nice Valentine's Day. What city in Mindanao looks good to you? Uh, Edwin, I, I'm actually a big fan of Mindanao in general. I like a lot of the cities there. I think it has a, a very different vibe for me than the rest of the Philippines. And uh, you don't really see too many foreigners, even in like the big city, Davao. I would go to the mall and yeah, you might walk by one foreigner every once in a blue moon, but not very often. And usually they're they're a married guy. You don't see a bunch of single guys walking around. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're all circling in on her, and I, I don't know if I would uh, want to be chasing that. Mario's, I've never met him. I don't even know where he, uh, I've heard of him, but I don't know where he lives or anything. Dipolog is okay. Spent a few days there. Was glad to see the lights on the return to Dumaguete. Yeah. Um, Dipolog is good for it. For me, I don't know if I could live there unless I'm happily married with kids and maybe raising a family there, have a house and stuff. Otherwise, um, no. Uh oh, Mark Thornton just walked in. Should I be scared? Uh, will I do collaboration with him? Probably not. Uh, like, I, like I stated earlier, we don't seem to really like each other at this point. Uh, actually, he seems to have the problem with me. I don't really have any problem with him. Uh, I don't know what his deal is, but uh, no, probably not. I don't really do too many collaborations with other vloggers anymore. I, I really kind of try to just keep my own videos private, separate. Switch gears, travel with Filipina and visa to U.S. is the roadblock U.S. immigration or Philippines government. Uh, well, if you're going to the U.S., then it's going to be the U.S. immigration is going to be the problem. Now, I think that I, we've had Maya out of the country three, it'll be four times when we go to Japan in August. So I think when we apply for a tourist visa, I think we will probably be able to get it. I have a pretty high confidence that uh, we will. So we'll try. Yeah, Dipolo, they're very curious, approachable. Not a lot of expats there. I totally agree. A lot of guys and uh, will go there to meet Filipinas. It seems that the expats travel in posses, my clan versus your. Yeah, yeah. It, it also seems to be very uh, uh, clickish. You know, people have their little clicks. Hey, thank you, Dr. Van. Good to see you. Uh, I think Cebu overall, honestly, is probably pretty safe from earthquakes and natural disasters, it's actually pretty safe. It was pretty rare that I got hit by that Typhoon Odette. Uh, like I said, I think it had been like 40 years or something before a, uh, um, a since a typhoon had hit before. Filipina to Thailand for a two week visit? No, you shouldn't. Just travel together, go through immigration together. 
make sure you have proof of your relationship, pictures, uh, correspondence, have all that ready. Maybe her bank account if she has a bank account. So travel in the same line together. I hope I never queue for coffee. I don't I don't like that either. If I have to go into a coffee shop, we're going to stand in a long line. No. I like Davao. Um, I've lived in Davao a few times. The first time I liked it. And the second time I loved it because I had transportation because uh, Davao is really spread out. And so to have to take a taxi everywhere is kind of a pain and actually can be uh, start to add up if you're, you know, traveling around. And so Davao, the second time when I had my motorbike was much, much more enjoyable. Um, I like that it's really organized and um, I got stoplights and uh, it just seems to be a bit more organized. Yeah, thank you. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I appreciate that. Uh, I have not been to La, La Union, the surfing area in Luzon. No, uh, Maya and I do want to start doing some trips in Luzon, though. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think Davao has that for sure. You do have the earthquakes there, though. Uh, based on my experience, there are some really smart Filipinos in the Philippines don't really interact with any Filipino men. Yeah, stay out of the uh, stay out of the areas that you really shouldn't be in. But uh, rentpad.com is, is is good, Rika. Yeah, uh, I've used that as well. Facebook Marketplace is good. Will I get my email with my email G codes over the Philippines? I get my email. My, will you get your code sent to your Gmail? It shouldn't be a problem. The email, the phone is the issue. Utuan, Shergao, those are all, yeah. Prosperidad. If you were moving to Cebu, wanting to be within walking distance to malls, can you suggest places to stay? There are three areas that I would live in in Cebu. Uh, one is an IT park. Uh, you got Ayala Mall, restaurants, coffee shops, a lot of great stuff there. Uh, it's IT park. Second one is Cebu Business Park, also next to a Yala Mall, and also has condos and restaurants and coffee shops around. And the third would be on the island of Lapu Lapu, which is part of Cebu, uh, just about 30, 45 minutes into Cebu City, depending on traffic. Also, condos and call centers and coffee shops and restaurants, all walking distance. Personally, my favorite was Mokhtan Newtown, but, uh, you know, it just uh, depends on the, on the person. San Frans. Can you find rooms including water and electric for 20,000 pesos in Cebu Studio, including water and electric? That's going to be hard. Uh, most don't want to include electric unless it's an Airbnb. And for 20,000 for a month on Airbnb, it's going to be a shithole, in my opinion. Cocoa Beach, man, I used to we used to skip school and high school and go to Cocoa Beach and Melbourne Beach too. Don't have many foreigners in Barranque, just a couple of close friends. I want to be a monger my first six months, what area would be best. Uh, stick to the big cities. You don't want to do that in a small city. Condos for rent, fairly close to malls, farmer markets, S and R hospitals. Yeah. I finished six months in Thailand. Main issue is the language barrier now coming to Cebu. Yeah, that seems to be, that's that's uh, why I ended up back in uh, the Philippines from Vietnam, to be honest. Around Cebu, yeah. Angeles City, I agree, Rick. I don't get that vibe. That regular guy does not like you, but he has a dry sense of humor. Maybe that he speaks well of you. I thought maybe wrong, but that was my impression. I, I don't know. Well, I haven't heard from him, so if he reaches out, maybe. If he uh, extends the olive branch, then maybe I'll consider it. So, yeah, it's lifestyle that determines on how much money you need to live on in any country. So the first thing one should do is to figure out the lifestyle they want in the country. Yeah, yeah, you need to know, um, you know, what kind of a lifestyle are you going to have, you know. 
Yeah, absolutely. Hey, babe, would you mind heating my coffee? Please. I'm glad your channel is the way it is. Keep the course, not future vloggers or the beast. Oh, thank you. Thank you, babe. Do you have any experience or anything with the cold, Gio? No, I, I don't. So. Nicole, I, I, Nicole Express, I like. <laughs> uh, Cebu Air seems to be the cheapest. Yeah, Cebu Airlines, Cebu Pacific seems to be the uh, cheapest. Uh, Lanao del Norte is mostly okay, but you, sh you should still be careful. Are you going to take Social Security early at 62 or wait till 67? I'll take it at 62. Uh, I've already planned that I will... Take my 401k at 59 and a half. Thank you, babe. And I will take uh, Social Security at 62. And um, then I will open up a Sorry Sorry store and uh, live off of that. I'm joking about the Sorry Sorry store. Uh, thanks, Gio. Going to plan a 10-day exploratory visit soon. Good deal. Oh, you li lived in Lanao for two years. Yeah, I, I think Lanao is... Uh, I went to fight and a vlog broke out. <laughs> From your video of the guy trying to make 300 a month work, did he end up coming to the Philippines and living in a boarding house? Uh, he, that, that's an old video. I think he was living in like one of those, um, it was like a boarding house. It was like a, sh uh, what are they called, Maya? The, where you share the rooms with other people in the Philippines. Uh, like a shared room with like a spacer, bed spacer. Oh, boarding house. Okay. Yeah, that is boarding house. Yeah, 300. It's that's just, uh, you're just waiting to be kicked out and be on the streets. It's just impossible. A Filipino can do it, but a foreigner, that's not, not likely. Um, yeah, that's just crazy. What was the problem with the VoIP job? I've been traveling overseas, lived in Korea two and a half years, and Google Voice was perfect, even though I have 12 plus bank accounts. Well, it started with uh, Capital One and then my new credit card that I had, and uh, they recognized it as a VoIP, and uh, they said no, and they locked my account. Now, I talked to them, and they said they will hold my account. I explained my situation that I won't be back to the U.S. till end of may and they said they can freeze it until this date and so that is what uh they're doing so um because I, I basically told them i'm moving back just so they would unlock my account again but yeah i've been having some issues so i will get a u.s phone number yeah i'm doing good steve how about you zulu are you talking about uh, Zamboanga del Sur, Zamboanga City? Uh, I've known people who've gone to Zamboanga City and they had a good time. And um, I wouldn't recommend living there. Traveling is probably okay. You know, if you go there to meet a girl, I suppose it's okay. Uh, I would not go outside of Zamboanga City on like, uh, like to a waterfall or out into the province. Then you're asking for a bit of trouble. Stick to the city, stick to your hotel, the mall, restaurants. Probably going to be okay, but I wouldn't live there. For myself, I know I can live on 1100 a month in the Philippines with no problems. For I have been living on that much now for the past four years in the USA. At the end of every month, I only spend like half of that. That's good. Yeah, if you're out in the province, I suppose. I like it, but you are in the province, so no big malls or anything like that. Yeah, well, now don't, uh, yeah. My bank will send me a code email to access the dollars. I get that with my USAA account. I'm a bit behind in the comments. I'll try to get uh, caught up here, guys. Let's see here.
I uh, agree. I was house hunting for two months in Cebu, 25,000 studio, 35,000 one bedroom, not including utilities. If you want a modern place. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I'm paying 34 K here. So, um, but I shopped it around, was looking to get a less expensive place, but I just couldn't find one that uh, had the quality, you know, the same quality or the same amenities. And so I don't want to go down in my living. I want to stay at the same level at least. Um, I was trying to get it lower in price, but I, I haven't found it. So here, I, here I'm staying. No, I have no problems with my Gmail. Yes, I, I have. I have learned some Basaya. Is it possible that to find good quality, well made, and will last and not fall apart? Western amenity condos and province areas for sale. That, it's more difficult. Um, it's more difficult, but you can have that. You just have to spend the money. A uh, condo. Oh, you're talking about condos in in the province area? No. There's no condos in the province areas. You're only going to find condos in the big cities. Otherwise, there'd be no market for them. Nobody would. Nobody could afford them. I've been spending twenty five hundred, three thousand living in Cebu, but do an international trip every one to two months. Fifteen hundred seems crazy. Maybe fifteen years ago, I think a lot of people spend about fifteen hundred a month, honestly, and uh, are are just fine. Um, it depends again, it depends on your lifestyle. I, you know, Maya and I do like to do a lot of international travel. So, you know, we've been, uh, three countries in the last year and fourth one coming up in, uh, about six months. My first two countries I would love to live in is Japan and Vietnam. If it was not for the language barrier. Yeah. Did you, I told you what area so you could tell me what, oh, okay. Yeah. Rentpad.com and Facebook marketplace are the best areas, are the best places to find a, a place. I would not like to live on under 3,500 a month here, but that's me. I like my lifestyle here. Yeah. I, I don't, uh, need 3,500. Um, but you have a lot more people in your household, Mike. It's really raining out again. Bigger lifestyle you can afford, must can't afford the lifestyle you want. Well, the way the way I see it is, if you end up figuring out, okay, I need about this much to live, you really should have. I don't know. If you figure out you need fifteen hundred a month to live, you don't want to be bringing in just fifteen hundred uh, because that's cutting it too close. Then you want to be at around two k, twenty five hundred. So Tegum is nice. Tegum is a nice area. I got a, I got a few friends. I, got, I know a married couple that live there. They like it a lot. Hostel, same as boarding house. Mm, not really. To extend your tourist visa, you can do it yourself. What is the immigration office name? It's just the Bureau of Immigration. There is no actual name for it. It'll be the name of the city, Dumaguete Bureau of Immigration, Davao Bureau of Immigration. So have you considered building a multi-unit building and renting out some of them? No, I really don't want to be a landlord and uh, have to deal with that. And I don't really want to, um, yeah, I just don't, I just don't want that added responsibility. Any good gym recommendations in Duma? Plenty of options in Cebu and Manila. Uh, the best one, I think, in multi-fit in Duma Getty is probably the best one. I have a Capital One Venture X, and I'm always churn churning their checking and saving bonuses. No issues. I never tell any bank I'm not in the U.S. Um, <clears throat> I don't have Capital One checking and saving. I just have their uh, credit card. Using Mint Mobile for 15 a month. I, I heard a lot of people say that they've been using that. Yeah, I always say less for sure. Works for bank, yeah. I was thinking about Mint as well, but uh, Pong Lao, you can get good internet. What about taking buses in and out of Zamboanga? 
No, it's it's pretty safe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it's pretty safe because there's a lot of military checkpoints in Mindanao, so it's pretty safe. 30 to 40 Mbps, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. It um, wasn't working for me, so. What do you need to open up a Gcash account? Can you open it up before it? No, you need a Philippines phone number. So Asia and Scripta says don't do buses in Zamboanga. So I guess I would agree with that too. I have taken buses from Davao all the way to Kagi and De Oro, a bus from Davao to General Santos. So it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. That's true. Not all hotels have uh, internet. Fly in, fly out. I think that's probably the best uh, way to go too. Yeah, I, I don't get it either. It really, it's just better just to kind of keep low key and again, keep a small circle of friends. Yeah, well, Rike was here. Even even uh, Rike was here before they even had uh, um, internet. I mean, when I first got to the Philippines, you were lucky uh, to be able to get internet and there were there was no internet in ho uh, restaurants or coffee shops there there was none of that that's just all pretty new so smart and globe work 25k for a five bedroom three cr house those are hard to find these days so yeah they are the more foreigners coming in the less uh, easy it is I live in Cebu for 2K US monthly. I live very good and I can live cheaper if I want. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good, uh, a good, decent amount. Uh, I'm in Cebu and I found in the areas I go smart is 10 times more reliable than Globe. Globe is only good in Manila. Okay. They have mobile, both of them have mobile coverage, but yeah. We have monkeys here who look through the trash for food. They seem to avoid security to get away with their criminal activity. They don't think they're doing any wrong with the expats there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, she does a lot of cooking at home and she goes, likes to go to local markets and things like that. So, Oh, you're talking about the islands? I would not go. Yeah, you're talking about Zulu. Oh, no, no, no. That's not a good area to go there. You need to... Uh, you need to be military escorted or police escorted. I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, Cebu City could live on 1500 I was living on 1500 a month in Cebu, uh, living in a condo. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, uh, we had, it came in very handy in uh, Vietnam for us, that uh, translator that I have on my website. Uh, I don't have a budget jail, but I want to keep it at 1000 to $1,200. It's, it's possible. It just depends on your lifestyle. Um, as long as you have a good savings in place. Only seen a few dozen foreigners in your area. That's, that's a nice area. Then. Ten years, not 19. Okay, gotcha. Best is to avoid the scammers, Geo, not the Western man. Um, I see. I, I, well, yes, avoid the scammers, of course. But I don't think there's, uh, I, personally, I don't think the scammers are anything hardcore here. I think it's pretty low level stuff. And um, the expats, in my opinion, is, is has more drama. Great price. Hostels are typically overnight for backpackers. Boarding house often for monthly for students. Yep, there you go. In any city, Mark, I don't know about any city like BGC, Makati. Eleven hundred is really cutting it close. So, yeah, it's probably better off to avoid them altogether. 
Peng Lao is rural enough to make owning a vehicle there viable in Lake Cebu City. Yes, plus the roadways are good. There's not a lot of traffic, so Bohol would be a decent area to have a car. Yeah, I don't get it either. The people, 490 pesos a day. I've met people who work seven days a week, 12-hour shifts, making around 300 pesos per day, working at the selling the screen covers for phones and things like that. Yeah. I'm happy I was living in Duma back in 05 or 15, 16, 17. And I now live in Davao, have a small circle of friends, been here since the early 80s. No drama, just peaceful living. Yeah, I like Davao. My electric bill is 2,500 pesos, internet 1,150 with TV, water 350, propane 850. I live like a king on half my retirement. Yeah, yeah, you certainly can. There's a lot of guys that do it, Mike. There's a lot of guys. I'm in Cebu City. I was living fine on 1,500 a month, just fine. Um, I didn't have a truck payment or anything, but remitly, I uh, remitly is good. I I like to use Wise and use Wise to send into uh, my GCash and uh, GCash. Now you can get a uh, credit card with them. Where it's like a debit card, you can withdraw money. Um, you know, so yeah, you know, I got the uh, the G Cash Visa, and uh, so you can use that to withdraw money. You can use it to uh, overseas. I used it in Malaysia, and my Wise account, I can transfer money onto my G Cash very quickly. So, two bedroom house or apartment here is four k to six k a month. Uh, yeah, as a close ally, the U.S. is putting money to the Philippines to develop 5G service millions. Yeah, they're going to be dumping a lot more money, too. I have visited Buntayan Island. Uh, as far as living there, no. To visit, for me, it's more of a holiday destination, not a place to live. So, yeah, I agree. Just walk away. It's not, not even worth it. Um. I'm sure he's probably rethinking this whole thing and thinking, you know what, I should have just uh, avoided this. Yeah, you can have uh, two phones or you can have dual SIM. So, yeah, huh, you're blocked out of Wise. I've used remitly to gcash transfer 69k wise fee was 10 remitly charged 35 yeah wise has a much better rate globe works fine in duma for both the internet and phone yeah i think so yeah my my ac bill is around 5k a month i think V and I enjoy a one bedroom modern home on half an acre fence to ourselves and behold for 25K a month. 1600 US works for us. Yeah. Yeah. It can be done. If you have a car or truck, it's easy to travel island to island. You can use the roll on, roll off ferries uh, and you can transport it. Uh, guys, say something about needing to visit offices for paperwork every time you ferry your vehicle. Do you know? Yeah, you do. You have to get, uh, you have to bring your uh, registration and all of that. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how you're spending 3000 a month in Cebu. Um, I don't remember what your rent was, but uh, my electric, I think, was much cheaper. I think my rent was cheaper. Um, I cooked at home a lot, and I don't think you cooked at home ever. So, yeah, I'm not sure what your uh, bills were on, but uh, yeah, mine was 1500 half of what you were spending to the average filipino 1k us is rich because that's over 55k right now at 55.96 school teacher makes 20 to 25k yeah yeah what is the exchange rate today anyway let's see here we are yeah 55.93 as of right now so
Yeah. Well, that's that's the problem I had, Bruce. Yeah. I couldn't verify my identity with a VoIP. But you can verify your identity with other methods. But once your account is uh, approved, you get uh, codes texted with Google. Okay. Well, either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a uh, I want to have a U.S. phone anyway. So, um, no, David, because she, you know, she's got her father and everything here. So, you know, all you have to do to get your vehicle on a ferry is show up uh, with your registration. Yep. Oatmeal, no. Oatmeal is gone. Huh, you have a good memory. <laughs> we have three school teachers living in our neighborhood. Okay. Dual SIM. Yep. It has to be unlocked, but yes, that's correct. Otherwise, you can buy an inexpensive Filipino food. I can't cook. I was I was eating out then. Oh, okay. See, I cook at home a lot. Yeah. I just bought a S23 Ultra dual SIM, handy for smart and globe. You get text from both and can toggle from which one to use data from. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to get T-Mobile. Uh, you know, with my trips to the U.S., I can call and right as soon as I land, I can immediately be, be using it. So, yeah. Team Mobile works great for us in Bago City. Negros Occidental. Peace of mind. Never have to worry about gaming the system. It's well worth it. I agree, Dickie. I, I rather just be on the safe side and not worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 1200 I, I think it's doable. I, I do. Marcus by Goldman Sachs blocks and locks your account if you log in from abroad, even with VPN, all other banks are fine. T-Mobile, yeah. Uh, probably WISE would be the best way to do that. And you can hook it up from your U.S. bank into a Philippines bank, yep. And you can even dump it into Gcash and other places. Yeah, yeah, you do have a good memory. <laughs> We built our house 40K with Sorry Sorry Store in 2017 in Solano, Nueva Vizcaya. Four bedroom, two CR. I saved 59K before I started my house to be sure I had enough money. I love the Philippines. Yeah, that's amazing. Huh. We said that, well, I suppose it could blow in, but. Um, that seems weird. I, I, you know, I lived in IT Park too, and I don't ever remember exhausting, burning trash. Um, but I like Mocktown, Newtown, much better. I agree. Getting out of our cultural comfort zone is the whole point. Personal development, growth. Yeah. Do you plan on eating the fifty dollars a month for T-Mobile, even though you won't use their phone plan while in the Philippines? Maybe, or maybe I'll get the mint. I haven't totally decided yet. T-Mobile works great outside the country. Travel to the Caribbean, Asia, never had a problem. Yeah. 40K for a house, that's one month of my rent. <laughs> I, is he talking about 40K US, though, or is he talking pesos? I'm not sure which one he's talking about. Maybe he meant U.S. It sounds like he, I, I think he's probably talking about dollars. Uh, well, we had a good turnout today, over over 200, well over 200. So that's, that's fantastic. If you guys don't mind taking a second and hitting the thumbs up, I appreciate it. Kali martial arts would be my new hobby when I get to Mindanao. Okay. Have you found a place that um, uh, teaches that? Yeah, that's true. I built 40K US. Oh, 40K US. Okay, that makes sense. Which island would you say has the most amount of cities that would be comfortable for expat living? Hmm. Well, probably Luzon. 
right? You got Manila, you got Angeles, you got Subic, you got Makati, BGC, Tagaytay, Baguio, La Union. Uh, there's a bunch, so maybe maybe uh, the Luzon area. I have never used World Remit. Right now, I don't need to. I just use Wise. Yeah, 40K US is a, is a steal. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for your good chat. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Now, what is the price of my visa cost? 60 a month or less? Uh, about 60 every two months. And I averaged it to be around 450 a year, approximately. Yeah, I wouldn't build one room on my house. Yeah, that's <laughs> no. Had it in 2019, Cebu City, never had a signal. Huh. I just need a phone for my codes. So, or maybe a phone call once in a while. So, I might end up going with Mint. We will see. A lot of people have told me that's the way to go $15 a month. Uh, is Elo Elo any good for expats? Elo Elo is fantastic. I think a lot of expats would like uh, Elo Elo. One to three million pesos to build on the whole. I don't think so. I think, he, well, I don't know, maybe. 201 year for five gigabyte month with Mint Mobile. Okay, that's not bad. Why not just have a Philippines bank account and just transfer from your bank back in the U.S., Canada? Yeah, you can do it that way too. Yeah. Depends on the fees that your bank charges and stuff. Hey, Mike, how you doing from Michigan? I pay 7,500 every six months for my visa. So there you go. So 7,500 times two, about 15,000. That's about, uh, well, you'll have your ACR card. You got to add that price in too. So, yeah. I've never had that problem anywhere here in the Philippines, Jason. I've been here over six years. Yeah, Michael's never had that. I know Mike's never had that problem. Uh, BGC is nice. BGC is a really nice area. You're going to spend more money, but it's it's you want Western amenities and uh, kind of a richer type lifestyle. BGC is the way to go. I live in Duma now. What are your thoughts about Depolog as a place to live? I, I've done about three videos on Depolog. I think Depolog, if you want a quiet life, uh, not a lot of expats, a beautiful boardwalk. They got a great boardwalk or boulevard, whatever you want to call it. And um, they got some nice restaurants and some really nice nature around. So I like Depolo. I think Mint does use the T-Mobile network. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can do it that way. You can write a personal check. I heard that you can only do that for dollar accounts, though. No? I haven't really found the need to have a Philippines bank account, to be honest. Um, I've I had one at uh, my first two years when I lived here because I was working and I had to have one. That's how they deposited my money. Um, but other than that, I did, I don't really haven't really found that I need it. Hey, good morning, Phil. I use Google Voice and have got all of my two factor codes. I did port my old cell number to it. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Yeah, I, I thought so, too. I thought it was very clean. I was actually very impressed with it. And on the boulevard, you see trash receptacles like every so often. So, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Well, uh, some places will let you do a six month, but it depends. Uh, most of them have stopped doing that, except for certain situations. Yeah. 20K for three bedroom, two CR, 200 square meters is my cost, including the land. I gave a, I have a well, so running all the time and hot water for my shower. Wow. Where was that, Rick? Out of curiosity. Oh, I wouldn't use the T-Mobile to call local numbers. I would just get a local Philippines to do that. 
Yeah, that costs a bit more. Um, again, I, I, I think I've averaged it around 400, 450 a year. I think you can get an eSIM. Yeah. Last year I was in Dumaguete and used Magic Jack for bank OTP. It worked great. Okay. Mint changed their roaming, so now it is day-based, whereas before it was paper, SMS, or megabyte data, so it may not be as ideal. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to see uh, what the difference is between Mint and T-Mobile. Not possibly, Tom. Do you have a bank account there, Geo? Not got my military SRV a few weeks ago. Put the fifteen hundred required into a Commerce Bank. They opened me peso and dollar account with debit. Much easier to get money. Yeah, um, I probably will at some point. Uh, when I go back to the U.S., though, I do plan on getting a Charles Schwab account. Uh, I tried to do it here and I wasn't able to. But I think with being in the U.S., I will apply for it, and I'll have my U.S. number and everything, so I think it'll be easier to get included with it. I don't know if it is or not. No monkey business for me, not hiding from the Philippines government is best. I don't do bank account either. Yeah, I don't really feel like it's totally necessary. Yeah. International plan, yeah. Cash, yeah. Yeah, that, that's expensive, Mike. That's why you're paying three thousand dollars a month. <laughs> I live outside Marunding and Lanao. Land here is a little considered a little expensive, according to my wife. Huh? That seems pretty low. Yeah, yeah, drones seem to be okay. Yeah, there's a few places that uh, don't want them, but yeah. Yeah, around 50 bucks, Mike. I think that sounds about right. If you have a Charles Schwab or Fidelity, what's the maximum money, money you can pull out of the ATM at once if the ATM is connected? Well, you know, like I have USAA and you can change your daily amount. Like if you wanted to pull out more one day, you can just go into the app and change it, which is nice. She did all the buying when we were building and she shopped around for everything. Yeah, you probably, that was a smart thing to do is have her do that and negotiate it. If you're separated, not retired, you can still do a SRV visa. I'm in my late 30s. Yeah, you can't do it yet till you're 50. Verizon T-Mobile International is included. Cool. Yeah, that's that's why, Mike. I mean, 200 bucks, that's, you know, most people don't spend 200 bucks on a, a cell phone plan. Yeah, a phone payment, okay, gotcha. Let me adjust my air condition. Yeah, back to the uh, topic at hand, uh, I ended up, I think I, I have now seen seven videos on the little drama that occurred the other the other day, um, and still counting. You know, it's um, a lot of people will do videos on whenever the, any kind of drama pops up, they want to get in on it, and, and they do it for views, obviously. But uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if more come out. But, and then it dies down. 50,000 pesos max ATM per day with Schwab. That's plenty, really, for most people. 10K each poll, 30 to 40K per day, depending on the bank. Now, you can do 20K on one poll through BPI and China Bank as well. I think there's a bank called Union Bank that we used to go to in Mokton that you could take out 20K at once, too. I do the ATM and pay 4,000 pesos fees a month. I know it's silly, but I like doing it that way so I can get receipts. 4,000 peso fee a month. Oof, seems kind of pricey. Hmm. 
Philippines banks won't allow for 40K per day. I definitely want to keep my same number when switching to T-Mobile and keep Magic Jack app for a backup. How good is T-Mobile while in the U.S.? Though I think T-Mobile is really good in the U.S. It's one of the largest ones. Uh, would I miss the U.S. if I had no family there? No. Um, I, I probably wouldn't even go back to the U.S. You know, what's funny is I've already made myself a list on uh, – all the food I'm going to eat when I get to the U.S. I've already made I've already made a list <laughs> of all the things that I can't get here that I've been kind of not craving. I've lived without it fine, but uh, if I'm going to be there, then I'm going to, you know, uh, eat it, take advantage. Some stuff I'm going to bring back home. Maya is a big book reader, and uh, so I'm going to get her some books. Yep, 20K. Which one is the best to watch to get up to speed on the drum? I don't think any of them are because none of them were here firsthand. So they're just, this is kind of gossipy stuff. 10K, huh? Did you choose other amount? You have to click on other amount and then put in the 20,000. Some Filipinos pay 55 pesos for three days of 5G. This is the load method. Yeah, I think you can get uh, pretty good deals for a whole month for around 500 pesos. Stay dry, babe. Maya's going out. Let's see. What is the top of the food? What is, uh, uh, well, steak and a loaded baked potato. Yes, you can get steak here. I have found that it, uh, I have had some decent steak, but not, not great steak. So I'm looking forward to getting a steak and a loaded baked potato. They don't, they have very small baked potatoes here. I have found and, and they never have loaded, you know, with butter, sour cream, chives, bacon. So. 10k huh interesting huh yeah interesting uh tom Gio, are you from or did you live in the minneapolis area i live in bloomington myself yeah i actually lived in woodbury minneapolis area and uh so actually minneapolis is where i'm going back to i will definitely hit the italian market for sure that's on my list as well they have uh wings and uh, blue cheese dressing to dip the wings in do you if you get wings here they just uh they don't seem i've had okay wings here and then uh i like blue cheese uh dip and they don't do blue cheese dip here or they don't have it 250 fee for each 10 withdrawals here okay Smooth, sure, 150 pesos per week. That's not bad. Cebu cost on electric bill if I run AC for 12 hours. That's uh, it depends. It depends on what kind of AC unit. If you have a split type uh, converter, energy saver type, or you like a window unit, it's just going to depend. Um, I couldn't answer that. Uh, maybe somebody else can. Really? Huh. I guess you have to go to the other. Yeah, he's got a video on it, but uh, again, we, uh, you know, it's from his side, so who knows if it's one hundred percent accurate or not? I don't know. I pay two ninety nine for thirty days with Smart Unlimited text and calls for two gigabyte data. Oh, you know what, Mike? We would love to. And uh, actually, yeah, we met up with uh, Mike and his uh, his girlfriend in uh, Thailand and Bangkok, and we actually went out for French food. I still remember. <laughs> uh, but we will get back to Thailand for sure. Probably not this year because we got the I got the U.S. and Japan going on. But uh, yeah, I would like to go back. And believe it or not, our one of our favorite foods 
in Bangkok was um, a guy named uh, it was it was Middle Eastern food. It was really really good. So uh, we personally limit avoiding other expats and also going to busy key locations. Just too much drama. We want just want a peaceful life and enjoy. Yeah. Well, again, I, I stay out of those areas for sure. I can see why Critter Hunter was a bit ticked off because the ex-cop was telling people not to invest in his business, but not sure how the tall goon got involved in actually fighting on his behalf. Yeah, I mean, who who knows exactly? Well, 1500 new pay lawyer admin costs. Uh, I don't know. Somebody else will have to answer that. I always thought if the Philippines and Vietnam merged together, it would be close to a perfect country to live. Really, for me, the only thing Vietnam was missing was the English language and the dating. I don't think you can get it until you're 50 years old. You can't get the military uh, SRV. Yeah, got to be 50 years old. Window unit. A window unit running 12 hours per day for uh, a month. Probably be 10,000 pesos. Uh, okay, gotcha, James. Yeah, 50 years old, right? I guess Mark, every man has a story, and uh, another guy uh, got into a fist fight at a popular coffee shop here in Dumaguete. When Kosovo runs out of soldiers, they'll be calling me. Uh, I will not answer the call. <laughs> that That part of my life is done with. I inquired about a car, a used car, and a salesman contacted me about, and I could sworn I was talking with every man with anger issues. <laughs> no, you, you can't be under 50. I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't be under 50. Planning to live the quiet life in Sorsagon. Yeah. Yeah, you got to wait till you're 50. Well, they, they signed the bill to raise the age to 50. It was a younger age, so I don't think they're going to raise it. I don't think they're going to move it down to a younger age again, personally, because they just did the opposite just a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's going to be expensive. I don't know if he was a handicap or not. He's, he didn't look like he was handicapped to me. So, uh, Thank you. Yeah, it's not till the end of May, so I got some time here. I lived in the sticks in Thailand, three expats, including me, in a 70 mile radius. It was so nice. Oh, that sounds that sounds really good. Yeah, you know how that goes, Mike. They were they had uh they do that quite often where it may never come to pass. So I, I wouldn't uh, hold my breath for that. He'll be 50 years old by the time that bill passes. <laughs> Women here have a shocker upset look on their face when you pull out or practice any form of birth control. <laughs> uh, be prepared for sticker shock when you go to Japan. Oh, yeah. I know. I, I am prepared. Counting the years to 59 and a half so I can make a move. But kudos to you, Gio, for making the move earlier. How old were you when you took the plunge? I think I was 45 or 46. And, uh, you know, I bust my butt. I was literally working two, three jobs uh, the year before I came out here. And then I landed a job here. And then I was also working online teaching at home in the evening. So I, I was busting my butt. And uh, then I fell into YouTube and then web, my designed a web page and uh, just started doing various different things and got money coming from different sources. And uh, finally, I was able to stop teaching altogether. And, uh, you know, that's where I'm at. Now I just need to make it to 59 and a half uh, for my 401k and then 62 for social. And that should be good.
Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I run my window unit almost 24 seven and my electric bill is under 4,000 pesos and I have a refrigerator and oven. Yeah, but you know, that it just depends on the area. It depends on how good of a unit he's got. Is it just an old uh, piece of crap that, uh, uh, you know, you just don't know. Have you met any, have you met active service members vacationing around the area? Maybe there will be more of those with more U.S. presence. Not yet, I haven't, um, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen for sure. Yeah, exactly. Biggest thing I miss in Thailand is the accessibility to fresh and delicious food everywhere. Yep, I miss that as well. I get my ACR card six weeks ago. I just picked up the physical card yesterday. Yeah, uh, Mike, we used to see them. In fact, last time I was in Mocktown, Newtown, I saw a big group of them. So... I don't know if it's open yet or not. I haven't uh, been following so closely. Do I frown upon a 60 plus year old having children with a Filipina in her 20s? Well, honestly, I don't really care what other people do. I, I you know, if it doesn't affect me, I really don't care. But if um, I personally, I think when you're, getting close to 70, I don't think you're going to be around. By the time the kid graduates high school, you're going to be 90 years old, and that's probably not going to happen. So do I frown upon it? No, I don't care what people do. Two consenting adults can do whatever they want. Um, I don't know. 5K. Possibly. If I could change one thing in the Philippines, what would it be? Better food. There is no video of the fight. Uh, Justin has it. And because uh, I guess he filmed it. But other than that, I don't think there's any. Uh, yeah, it's not not a military base, right, Mike? Okay. Ah, thank you. Appreciate it. Hit the like button. I, I guess he's still working in Saudi Arabia. I really don't know too much I, we don't really keep that much in touch kind of dropped off from um, keeping in touch five years in the army 31 years of coal mining and i retired old dog convinced me to do social security at 62 glad i did i lost 397 a month but i don't care there's no guarantee for how long you're going to live in life and you know you can live here for pretty good so i I think 62 is best. Excuse me. I sneeze. What do you do for ex exercise? Can you run in the streets? No. There is a sports complex here that has a nice track that you can run on. So you can do that. But I go to the gym and I use the treadmill and the, and the weights five days a week. When I retired at 55, I started collecting from my 403B without penalty. Well, okay. Yeah, I feel the same way. Likely to be dead or debilitated by high school graduation of your first child. Yeah. Yeah, I do weights Monday through Friday. And uh, I do treadmill, so... Pay-per-view, Patreon only. Yeah, I've got uh, right now. I've got eighty-seven videos on Patreon alone. Um, a lot of videos, but those are just uh, Patreon only videos. So, for you disabled vets that have Social Security, be careful about what they what you tell them. I have lost mine for the second time here, and I'll have to go through the crap to get it back again. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. Uh, that's the one you you don't you don't get back is time. So I'd rather have the money at sixty two. I think uh, I I think that it puts a bad light on all of us. To be honest, uh, this is now this is their impression of a bunch of us. You know what I mean? Just a bunch of old guys fighting. It's probably it's probably embarrassing 
Uh, I mean, it's embarrassing. It's just uh, kind of bad behavior. So anyway, guys, I've been going uh, 90 minutes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, let me see. I'll read the last couple uh, things here. 55 in March, then off the Dow one. Can't do another 10 years of work. I don't blame you. If you can uh, leave early and live off of some income, then do it. Yeah. There you go, James. Do you rec recommend expat YouTubers involving their girlfriends? I know it worked out for you, but you're a bit of an uh, anomaly. Honestly, uh, the, the YouTube thing with Filipinas is not a good idea. Now, Maya, when she does a video with us, or when she does videos, I'm pretty much in, in all her videos. So, you know, but uh, I don't let her do certain type of videos, you know, I mean, and she doesn't want to anyway. But uh, the type of videos that she would do if she was single, some of these uh, Filipinas, some of the videos that they do, um, they don't realize uh, what kind of image they're portraying on themselves. I think it's some really nasty ones. You know what I mean? I don't know if you have you guys seen some of these uh, videos with some of these um, Filipinas. Jesus, I I do. I use acorns. Yeah, I'm I'm I I love acorns. Absolutely, I use it. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'll call it uh, I'll call it uh, a day here. So ninety minutes. I think I think we're good. So. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I will see everyone next time.